Hi, Paula Jo from Cedar Quilts. Oh, today we're going to help explain to you how to draw your pattern to make your very own cross of many squares quilt. You've probably already been watching the videos on how to make your design wall. And so we're basically gonna follow that, but you're going to draw this on graph paper. So you're going to draw your center line from top to bottom and then about a third of the way down the page you're going to do the cross beam for the for the cross and mark your center dot. And then just like with the design wall we're going to be doing two rows at a time. So from the center point up you're going to do one, two, three, four, five full lines. So those are double spaces. And that little half one which is just a single set of blocks. And then from the center line down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten down, and then that little half a one. Um, then you're going to do the same thing from the center out for the two arms. And then once you have all your your double lines marked, now you're going to go in and you're going to count single squares, the little teeny single squares. And they can be any size, they're going to represent whatever size you want to make your quilt. But we're going to refer to them as two and a half inch little squares. So we're going to start from the top, from the center of the cross. We're going to go up one, two, three, four, five. From the Center down, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then for the two arms, we're going to go out six in each direction. Now you're going, to, you're going to outline that. I have that in green on here. You're going to outline that, and you're going to have a double row for the cross, for the center of the cross. So five up, six out, 14 down. That's the cross. Now you're going to have an outline, a single line all the way around for the dark part of the cross. The, the dark outline is going to be a single one out. So that's going to be six to the top and seven out to each side and 15 down to the bottom. And then go ahead and do an outline of that again. I have that in purple. Now you should have one, two, three, four, five to the top, five to each side, and you should have six to the bottom for your background squares. And then finish out your outside lines for your quilt. So you're going to be needing 24 squares across and 32 squares top to bottom. Now, at this point, you have your pattern. You can make this any size you want. So look at our little graph here. And if you start with two and a half inch squares, they're each going to finish up at two and so on and so on. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. You can make it 10 inch squares if you want and hang it on the side of the building on the outside of the church. But you have your pattern. Now you can decide what size batting design wall you want to mark it on and you can make it any size you want. And so then you find your, your fabric and you make your cross and you make your outline, you put your swooshes of color in, you add your fabric and eventually you have them all on there. Take a couple of photos, look at it in black and white and whatnot so that you can see how your light and dark and medium colors are on there and eventually you sew it all together and then you quilt it, you put your borders on there and do all your fancy stitching and oh, you're gonna love it. So check out my playlist on all the videos on how to make this quilt, but um, check us out on Facebook as well because we will have individual photos that you can look at a little more easily um, to follow this if you wanna make your own pattern. And uh, as always, thank you so much for coming and we'll see you later, toodaloo.